everybody, it's Dave here. I'm in my hydroponic greenhouse. I normally do a weekly uh, update video, but today we're making hot sauce with the super hots. So I'm gonna cut some of these up. Uh, I got some a yellow pepper I got got to use. So sorry, plant. That's all you got. But so I got that. I'm putting in a tomato. I already picked it, but I got a bunch of tomatoes. There's tons of little tomatoes back here. These guys are super cool. There's cucumbers growing. So lots of stuff going on, but you can see that in my weekly videos. Today is about the super hots. So this one's not hydroponic, but it's uh, just one I got from Urban Fair. Or sorry, Urban Roots. So it's got the Carolina Reapers, the Trinidad Scorpions, and the Ghost Peppers. All in one plant. So there's a few today that we're gonna cut off. There's one, two, let me go on this side here, three. A couple little guys here, hang on. Let me get these big ones. Four. Look at the tail on this guy. Pretty cool. And there is some some bigger pods coming. So I'm gonna make another batch soon with the uh, Probably do peach this time. There's a few peppers in a the can there that I've done. Just with seeds from a similar plant to this one, a mixed plant from last year. I'm just gonna get those two behind there and I think that should be good. Maybe we'll throw in a, a ring of fire pepper just for a bit of extra extra flavor. So I got a bunch of ring of fires here, hydroponics. And the pump's on now, so it's a little loud, but the roots are always cool in these guys. Habaneros coming. Okay, so I got so the ingredients for me is the tomato, the pepper, and all the hot peppers. Let's go cut them up and throw them in a blender. Okay, we're back in our uh, dining room here. We got carrot, garlic, and onion cut up. We're gonna saute those for the mix. I've made this one I call Hella Waits uh, twice before, and everyone uh, at our local pub for Monday Night Football is looking forward to it. So last time was, uh, I think I started with seven peppers, but we're going, I think, 10 this time. Uh, and our homegrown uh, tomatoes, uh, pepper and we got smoked paprika which is awesome salt and pepper uh, was it three tablespoons of red wine vinegar and two of apple cider vinegar I tried last time uh, you can mix it up however you want uh, salt and pepper got that a uh, little bit of olive oil with those guys and that's it so I'm gonna go saute these guys and make some Hallowates version 3 
Okay, we sauteed all the uh, the onions, carrots, garlic, peppers, and gave the tomatoes a little warm up. Uh, in they go to the blender. It's a instant pot blender, which is very cool. It uh, makes soup, so it's the function we're going to use today to make hot sauce. It's kind of weird sitting down doing this. But you gotta have the picture shot, right? Right, Maya? Mm -hmm. My daughter's helping me film today. Okay, those go in there. And then uh, the recipe I've been using is half a cup of water. Uh, what did I say? Three tablespoons, one and a half, and a little bit more, and two of the apple cider vinegar. Smoked paprika, I like it, so I'm not about that much, however much that is. Uh, what else we got to put in? Salt and pepper I did, it could go ahead more. The main ingredients, peppers. Normally you should be wearing gloves, kids, but I don't have gloves right now. Use two fingers and be careful not to touch my face. And I know you wanted to see me try this, so let's take a little piece of this. Good taste. It's not bad. I think this guy with the tail is going to be a hot one, so let's try that. Oh yeah, that gets hotter, I can tell. Oh, and I took a bigger piece. Uh oh. That's hot. Oh, yeah, that one's definitely hotter. Oh, Lord. So, with this blender, you don't need to worry about cutting up small chunks and stuff because it has a blend mode, obviously. But this one will heat up. I think it's the 99 degrees. And then I'll puree it after. So you can have a chunky soup or a, a chunky soup in 20, I think, and a pureed soup in 22. So there's all the peppers in there. Uh, did I don't forget anything. Peppers, garlic, water, tomatoes, yellow pepper, onion, red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, salt, pepper, smoked paprika, and olive oil, which was in there. So I think we're good. Hopefully this is in the frame. So open your windows because this is going to get pretty hot. And go to the soup button. And it's on two, which is 22 minutes and 44 seconds. And we let it go. So it's going to heat up and then it would do that for 20 minutes. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll film it for the last couple of minutes at the end there and see how we do. And then the taste test. Okay, a new setup here. We, uh, we're counting down now. We're at the 20 minute mark and we are at, it does go to 100 degrees. So it is boiling, so that, that's why you don't have to worry about cutting everything really fine. 
Uh, we got steam coming off and it's starting to get a little hot in here, eh, Maya? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, some other things I've made, I got a big jar of pickles, just uh, refrigerated ones so they don't last too long, but they're delicious. Uh, I got some ring of fire pepper flakes I did in the uh, in our air fryer, just with the dehydration setting. Uh, five hours, they're, they're delicious. But if I open the top right now, the Woo! the dust. And then I got some uh, spicy beans that I made uh, with some of the ring of fire peppers that I grew, and the beans, and I threw in a carrot and some garlic and smoke the up. There it goes again. And this is the other uh, the hot sauce I made this year called Battery Acid with Ring of Fire Peppers. Not as hot as this guy's gonna be, but it'll still get you where you need to go. There's a, I think this one's habanero. Another couple peppers that I'm growing inside. These guys got a little uh, blue pepper growing. Pretty neat, almost an ornamental, but uh, it's a basket of fire. Okay, we're uh, down to eight minutes here. Hot sauce time. Woo! Okay, she's done. <coughs> we're, uh, we got all the windows open, but it's still, uh, we're coughing. I'm gonna take the lid off here and just let it cool off a bit before I do any processing. But let's have a little taste test. Oh, that's gonna be hot. <laughs> nice flavor. Uh, definitely a, a kick right in the tongue. That's gonna be good on chicken wings. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll box it up here in a sec when it cools down. Okay, so I just put it in the measuring cup here and I'm just at about two cups. So that's not too bad with just those few ingredients, but that's a lot of hot sauce. That's, that's a lot of wings. Uh, it is a little hot now. I just got this little plastic uh, squeeze bottle with a little lid from the dollar store today. So I'm gonna try using that instead of a funnel to put it into these little guys, which I also got at the dollar store, which will just be, I did wash these guys, uh, just enough to put in there and give a little bit to your buddies. Uh, the extra sauce here, I'm gonna dump a bit of water in there and throw it in the real Instant Pot and make a big batch of spicy chickpeas. Waste not, want not. Okay, so that was uh, pretty cool. These little guys worked out great, and that's a good little dose to give it to a bunch of my buddies. Uh, and I still have, so I used a squirt bottle, as you just saw. Uh, worked out great, so just a little plastic one from the dollar store. And I still have eight fluid ounces in here, so that's good, that'll be my batch. And this one will be coming to a Monday Night Football game near me. All right, and uh, let's take another little Let's go hard. Delicious. Hot, 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 but really good flavor. The uh, smoked paprika, let's go again. 
<coughs> oh, that's good. Ah. Yeah, that's gonna go good on wings. Oh, there it is. Good stuff. Okay, thanks for watching.